What happens in your brain when you learn a new language? Sometimes we try to learn a new language for work or personal reasons or for travel. There is the joy of being able to make a joke or order off the menu in a different country. It also has huge benefits for your brain as there is a large amount of things happening in your brain when you do learn to speak a different language. Many areas in your brain, including Broca's area, increase in size and function. This is the area of the brain involved in the production of language. When children grow up with two languages or more, the languages are processed at the same time. But as adults, when we learn a second language, a separate area close to the first develops. Adults learn at different speeds when it comes to languages, and studies have shown differences in changes of brain area in different learners. Broca's area and the hippocampus changed most in those who learned languages quickly, while the motor cortex changed most in those who learned at a slower pace. So whether you are fast or slow, whether it is French or German or Hindi, learning a language causes changes in the brain that science can see. A Swedish MRI study showed learning languages has an effect on the brain by studying young adult military recruits who liked to learn languages as they learned Arabic, Russian or Dari. Meanwhile, a control group of medical and science students also studied hard, but they did not study languages. MRI scans showed that parts of the brain of language students increased in size, while in the control group, no change occurred. No matter what pace you learn at, learning a new language has been shown to improve memory, mental flexibility, brain function, and creativity. So give it a go today. It is easier than ever with Duolingo, online conversation circles, and classes. Expand your mind, expand your world. We know that learning language is important for many reasons, personal and travel, but have you ever thought how increasingly important it is for those who work in science, technology, engineering and math? From astronomy to zoology, language has a role to play in delivering these skills and work. Students taking a foreign language at Leaving Cert has slowed down over the past five years, according to recent figures. The percentage of six years studying at least one foreign language has fallen for both boys and girls. 67% of boys and 84% of girls currently do at least one foreign language. However, the percentage of those who take a foreign language other than French has grown. Languages include German, Spanish, Italian, Russian, Japanese and Arabic. 74% of schools at secondary level now offer two languages or more. The higher uptake of languages by girls at Leaving Cert level may be a superpower that women and girls can use to carve out a space in the STEM workforce. 59.5% of the world is now connected through the internet and this makes the world increasingly interconnected. The ability to communicate in more than one language is increasingly important to employers and this is crucial in science, technology, engineering and maths, as scientific research is often international. Collaboration and communication is a vital part of research. Studies have shown that those who speak other languages than their first language have better concentration and problem solving skills and are better at multitasking. These are vital qualities for scientists. Helping students to understand that speaking another language is really valuable in the global STEM workforce means that the language lab is as important as the science lab in developing the scientists of the future. And it is never too late to start. A published study exploring effect and age in learning languages wanted to explore if early language learning was more beneficial than later in life. Take heart because you think that early learners would, lead, would be better at languages but the studies show that those who started late in life outperformed those who started earlier in a variety of skills. This was because individual motivation is the strongest influence on outcomes. 
best summed up in the saying, if you have a why, you'll find a how. Those who took up language learning late in life were more determined to succeed, so learning a language is not dependent on age or a younger brain. This makes sense. There are lots of young people who spend years learning a language and never go beyond being able to say their name and where they're from. Another study found that age wasn't a factor in learning a language, but what made the difference was high quality input, contact with native speakers, speaking the language on a regular basis, and using materials in the language, like reading a book or listening to a podcast. So whether it's Irish, German, Spanish, or Japanese, there is now a wealth of apps, courses, online groups, and lots of opportunities to talk, whichever language you want. So give it a go now, no matter what your age, because it seems that the wisdom that comes with age gives you an edge in learning a language, a certain je ne sais quoi.